The speed at which a valve closes can be deceiving. When you're in a hurry to see a result, a few seconds can seem much longer than they actually are. Valves that close too quickly can cause issues in the system. The same goes for a valve that closes too slowly. In this video, we're going to address the issue of a valve that closes too slowly. How fast should a valve close? Most irrigation valves are designed to close 10 to 20 seconds after the solenoid deactivates. Hunter valves are designed to close in this range to avoid an abrupt flow shutoff in an irrigation system. What if a valve closes too quickly? A valve that closes too quickly can cause a condition called water hammer. It's the result of a pressure surge, or shock wave, that moves through a piping system when flowing water is forced to change direction or stop abruptly. You'll hear a knocking or banging sound when this happens. When the valve closes, water flowing in the main line can slam into the closed valve and reverse its direction. Because the water cannot be compressed, a shock wave is created that travels back and forth between the water source and the closed valve gradually slowing until its energy is dissipated. These pressure surges can cause catastrophic failures in the piping system, or they can weaken pipes and fittings over time. This can lead to leaks that go unnoticed initially, but gradually get worse over time. The reverse porting in Hunter valves helps minimize water hammer. As the surge pressure reaches the valve, water pressure pushes up on the solenoid plunger, lifting it from its seat and relieving some of the pressure downstream. What if a valve closes too slowly? If a valve closes too slowly and remains partially open when a second valve is activated, they could both demand more water than the system can provide. This might prevent sprinklers from popping up completely for an extended time. It can also result in poor coverage initially. This is especially troublesome in systems that use a pump. To minimize this problem, many controllers have a delay between stations setting that lets you program in operational lag time. It gives a valve extra time to properly close before opening the next one without disrupting the operation of the pump. What is the most likely cause? The most common reason for a valve to close too slowly is a restriction present in the valve metering ports. Hunter valves incorporate the metering ports into the diaphragm assembly. In the plastic center of the diaphragm assembly, there are small holes that meter or restrict the amount of water that flows to the top of the valve. If debris clogs these holes, it restricts the flow too much, and the valve may either close slowly or stay open indefinitely. To fix this, simply clean or replace the diaphragm assembly. Another possible cause is a missing diaphragm spring. After reassembling a valve after maintenance, users sometimes forget to reinstall the spring. Without it, the diaphragm has difficulty returning to the closed position, which lengthens the time it takes for the valve to fully close. A third trigger could be a valve that is sized too large for the flow on the zone or a very low flow zone in which the valve needs to be tuned. The first issue is more difficult to fix, as it may require replacing a large valve with a smaller model. Look at the expected flow of the zone based on the sprinkler and nozzle types. Then consult the manufacturer's charts for proper valve sizing. When the valve includes flow control, tuning the valve by adjusting the flow control down may speed up the closing process. If your valve is a PGV100, you can swap out the bonnet with the one that has flow control. Now that you understand possible causes for a slow closing valve, you'll know what to look for if you encounter one in the field. To learn more about our complete line of industry-leading valves for residential and commercial applications, visit HunterIndustries.com.